Right, we are in a rather sticky situation. Or maybe not. Maybe it's time for Shimmel Fennig to come to the rescue. Double line! By attaching everything first. And double line! forming double lines. Chesnowski, meanwhile, you will also form a double line. So, can Costa's men hold out? I reckon so. 153rd Pennsylvania will have to come back eventually. As well. Yes. Okay. I think this section can just about hold. I hope so, anyway. And away the Confederates go. We need close fire support. Oh! Dear God, they're in flight. Uh, target these guys. There we go. 100% for Ohio, come forward. And you will act as reserves. Keep forming a double line, keep advancing, pressing towards the knoll. I, I'm thinking even of moving our Napoleons up here if we can clear the Confederates out. Double line. They're running scared now, apart from this section, which is uh, peeling away as we speak. In fact, I'm going to retreat you guys. And you two will hold instead. Shurs come over here. Barlow also here. We don't need any morale boosts on this section. We're winning here. In fact, I'm going to send a charge at these guys. Janowski, keep up morale. Okay. Confederates driven off. And 190 New York can halt there. 17th Connecticut come forward. So the Confederates are trying to form a new line. Meanwhile, we're going to shift our fire to this clump of men. Well, Schimmel Fennig. they form a double line. And these guys are going to skirmish mode in order to weather artillery fire. Okay, uh, Von Gilsa. You're okay there. Barlow. Come over there, we might need to give some desperate orders to these guys. Right. Just think, how can we drive these men off? Okay. 58th New York can fill that gap. 75th Ohio will act as reserves. But Costa's men and Von Gilsa are now pretty much relieved. 153rd Pennsylvania has put up a splendid fight today. Okay, 15 minutes to drive them off the knoll. So, 75th Ohio. Uh, wrong target. Okay, you charge those ones. Charge. 26th Wisconsin and 75th Ohio are going to try and get rid of these people. Okay, there they go. And now they're going to charge into the rear of these ones. Except for Ohio alone. And away they go. Okay, except for Ohio, that's enough for, from you for today. Wow. Good performance, definitely. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see if we can't get the Napoleons very close. Yeah, okay, we're really pushing the Confederates now. 
Okay, this line is going to hold to the end. We're not going to get rid of these guys in the woods, but we should be able to drive the Confederates off Bloker's Knoll. If need be, we'll order a charge, but hopefully that won't be necessary. Watch your aim, lads. 26. Come forward. A double click and halt. Form line, and now you have flanking fire on this regiment. Good work, General! Hurrah, indeed. Ah, wonder why the 26th uh, Wisconsin just got spooked. Oh well, we did capture the knoll. That's what counts. Okay, Chanowski. Uh. Double lines here. And so we can't target these reinforcements. Okay, so the timer has increased because uh, we captured an objective. And we have these uh, guys over here bombarding us. So, Schimmel Fennig. Everyone's a skirmish in order just to distract. Apart from the 82nd who will act as a reserve, some boost morale as a result. 25th Ohio can go over there. Okay, Chanowski. Let's at least attempt some form of flanking maneuver on these guys because they're almost gone. Okay, can't really target anyone. Okay, and the 153rd Pennsylvania have uh, done amazing work in holding this position and Confederates are now getting out of here. So it looks like we have won the day. In reality, I think, Everyone was sent fleeing through the town itself because Rowley uh, or Barlow, Barlow, here, he kept his men there, they were surrounded, destroyed in detail, and his further reinforcements like Costa and, uh, what's this chap's name, Smith, were held back. So, light casualties, relatively speaking, and heavy casualties for the Confederates. So we get bonus for both of those victory points, but also uh, a malice for using Costa's Brigade, and I don't think we've seen that yet in the game. Activating reserves costs you victory points, but if they mean you win a battle, then it's usually worth it. So, most effective 100 for Ohio, most effect Brigade, Chanowskis, and Hardest Fighting, 107th Ohio. I'd give it to the 153rd Pennsylvania myself. But I don't uh, calculate these things. So there we are. Yep, forming for an assault. They get a mass of reinforcements here. They arrive just as Costa comes to hold up the line. They really try to push in here, but our men hold. And we're able to order a general advance on the left crush through and uh, take the knoll before coming in for a late flanking march which sends most of them running for cover. So unlike in reality the Union has pretty much held most of its positions on uh, this first day of the battle. Hancock, the men have put up a splendid fight this day. They have much to be proud of. Yes, sir, they have indeed. After today, I can almost pity the poor fellows encamped on the other side. Well, I for one cannot pity them, sir. They are the rebels and invaders, and tomorrow, God willing, we shall drive them from the field.